Hello you little cuties and welcome to my channel Fixing the Hillbilly. Today I'm going to be doing a 10 inch lemon straw hat. And you can put this in your kitchen or your living room, wherever you have your lemon decor. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to be using three different kinds of ribbon and I have those there. I'm going to be using a 10 inch straw hat, a couple lemons or three, you never know I might end up putting more on there, and some greenery. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started with the ribbon. I'm going to put the ribbon on that hat first and I'll tell you why. Because um, if I put a lot of greenery on there, this these hats aren't real large, they're only 10 inches. So uh, if I make the ribbon and it's too big, it might cover up some of the greenery. So I'm gonna start with the uh, ribbon and then work around the ribbon. So as you can see, I put a loop down, turned it to the not so pretty side like we talk about, and then I put it down again to make those bows. Four inches on this first bow is what I used. Because remember, the hat is only 10 inches, so we don't want to go too, too much. Now, I'm only going to use one piece of the yellow on this particular part. And then I'm going to go in with some green. And I try to use, um, you know, different patterns. Like, as you see, the first one is yellow um, stripes. And then this, is, of course, is the green checks, which I think is real pretty. I like this in anything. That roll was giving me a little bit of a time. I don't know why. I don't like to hook it on that end piece, though, because it just doesn't work the way I want it to for some reason. All right, now I'm gonna go in, flip it to the not so pretty side, and then take it back through my Easy Bow Maker. Now, like I said, and I've told you all this before, you can do this with your hands. It's just, I don't know, the older I've gotten, it just, it hurts my hands to hold them for so long. You didn't used to do that. I found that even crocheting um, I used to crochet and watch TV. I don't have to look at it because I've done it for so many years. But um, sometimes after a while, my, my hands start hurting me just a little bit uh, with even that. So I'll crochet for a little bit and then I'll just stop. Now, I'm only going to use one piece on this one. And with this one, I went three inches because we wanted to bring it in just a little bit um, so that both of them show up. Sometimes if you do them all the same length, they kind of get hidden behind each other. And I like to be able to see everything that I put on there. Now, the only thing with doing this is now I'm down to two inches. Even though it's a 10 inch hat, I wish I would have went out just a little bit further uh, with this last piece, maybe even uh, three inches as well, because it seemed to be a little bit jumbled up. I didn't really like that, so. But here you see me flipping it over to the not so pretty side and then running it back through again. Now, I didn't have a roll of this, I just had a piece of this, but I knew that I had enough to get a couple of hoops, uh, about four I think I got out of there with them being only two inches. Um, I definitely got uh, four out of that. So you just keep working it back and forth, take it through bring it out two inches and then you're going to press it down so it all stays together, flip it to the not so pretty side and then go back through again. You can even use, um, and that's what I did before I got my, uh, my Easy Bow Maker, but those aren't very expensive. I think I paid maybe $14 for that, it wasn't very expensive, but you can use like a clip or something to hold it all together till you get them all on there. You just make one bow and clip it to the other. That's what I was doing for a little bit. 
and then I just clip that off. Now I'm not going to make it any bigger than this because the um, the hat's not a very big hat. If I was doing a big hat, um, of course I would make the bow a lot bigger and a lot thicker. You know what? I was going to put a piece of mesh in there and I forgot. But you can take a piece of mesh and cut it about, they're 10 inches wide, so cut it about four inches or five inches, whatever, and just roll it up and put it in there. But I thought it might be just a little bit too much for this small hat. But if I was doing a larger hat, that would be a good idea to take a couple pieces of mesh and really build that bow up. Okay, and as you see here, I'm just putting a zip tie on it. Sometimes I think it's a little bit better if you put a couple notches on each side, cut it a little bit. Um, it just makes it, I don't know, it just makes the bow fluff a little bit better, I think. I mean, it did okay, but it wasn't really um, as nice as I wanted it. Now, when I start to attach the bow, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to put the zip tie through the hat. You have to do the skinny end, not the part that you put the piece through because it won't fit down in there. So I put the little end down in there and you see it coming out the other side of the hat and then I'm gonna go underneath and put it back through. Now, um, I had a little bit of trouble because of the way the pattern was going. It was real easy to get uh, going in there. But coming back out the, the other way, the pattern was just different. So I took some scissors and just poked a little slit in there so that I could get it through. I think I actually had to do that a couple times. But if you use the skinny part of the scissors and you just put it all the way through, you don't have any problems getting it through. I was just having problems because, like I said, the pattern was going one way and this was just easier. Y'all know me, I just, whatever's easy. We don't do a headache about anything. Okay, so then after that's done, you're gonna make sure everything's pulled tight, but before you pull it too tight, you're gonna put that zip tie through the other zip tie. Then you're going to pull the one that's attached to the ribbons, you're going to pull it tight. And then attach the, or close the other zip tie. Because you want them going through the back of those ribbons so that it'll hold. But don't give yourself a headache about it, seriously. I know one time me and my granddaughter went to the um, store and she couldn't decide which outfit she wanted to buy for her baby and she said you know my mama I just really don't know which one to buy I, I like this one but I like this one and I told her I said honey we don't in this family we just don't get a headache over things like that what we do is we just buy both and then then you don't have to you know worry yourself about it so that's how we do things here simple and easy don't get a headache about it. If you're in a dilemma, just do it both ways. It works. Okay, so now we've got our bow attached. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, chevron, or uh, I think they call it dovetail. Dovetail these ends to make it look better than just cut straight across. And once again, my um, hot glue gun is, is plugged up over there, so I'm going back and forth. I'm going to have to find me a different setup. Uh, I noticed uh, when I was doing this video, when I was actually editing it, because we've talked, for some reason I can't uh, do uh, just a video. I have to do a voiceover because 50 million people call, and I'm not talking about my family, because, you know, when my family calls, it's fine. 
but I mean like telemarketers, uh, you just <laughs> ridiculous stuff. I mean, I didn't even know they still existed. So, uh, anyways, they call and, and just, you know, aggravate. Okay, and I'm going to finish dovetailing these ends here. Make them look all cute. Now, see, that, um, that had a small. So, if I would have actually went out any further than the first one, four inches, it would have been too big for that hat. I probably should have done two collars, maybe. Maybe the yellow and the lemon and put all those together. I don't know, that green sure is pretty. Maybe the green and the lemon and not made it so big. I, I reckon it'll be okay once I get it going. Now here's me just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Now, what I did is I had put some greenery on there and I had to turn it around because I couldn't get it straight enough. There. And let me turn it around here so you can actually see. So what I did is I put a couple pieces of that greenery, I cut it off, and then I put my lemons on there. You could put greenery all the way around it if you wanted. It actually looked like it needed a little something, but I'm always, I don't know, I think I always try to go over the top for everything. But I put a couple lemons on here, and I just put a bunch of hot glue on there, and then just hold them there for just a second, and you know, they stick. That's it. And then of course you wanna keep working your bow because you know, if you've watched my channel before, you know I'll work that bow till it can't be worked anymore. Alright. Now, um, what I'm doing now is um, making sure that there's plenty of hot glue over there and I'm looking for some flowers. Because right there where those lemons are connected, um, there's some spaces there and I really didn't like those spaces it looked like it need filled with a little something and you don't have to put flowers on there you know like I always say just do you and whatever makes you happy but um, I like filling the little holes in and the little gaps so what I did was I pulled some flowers out and just, you know, just some little white flowers just to put in there. Nothing major, just uh, put them in there to cover the little, the little holes. I don't want anybody to see the glue or anything like that. Now, I'll tell you what these are good for and these are pretty quick to make. Um, if, let's say for instance, you have someone who has a birthday or uh, sometimes I make some things for Christmas presents. Um, but usually when I do that, I try to do like a mesh wreath, something, you know, larger and, you know, that they can use on their door, um, for, um, you know, their front door. But these are nice too. This would look really good behind the sink because it's small. It's not real big. Um, so you need this in a, a different space. You can also do these hats, put different stuff on them, different flowers or whatnot, and um, put them in your bathroom. You can put them in your living room. I've seen them about everywhere in the house. Um, but I used to make these years and years ago. I used to make the real big ones to put on your front door, which looks absolutely beautiful. And I usually do those for summer. So, at the time, I think, if I remember right, I got these from Hobby Lobby, I think. And when I was down to Michael's, I seen the bigger ones. But um, I have so many projects right now to do, so I really didn't want to buy more stuff because I've got enough stuff here to make wreaths and, and the littler hats and things like that. So, I was like, I'm just not going to do that right now. 
but I think for next summer, I'm definitely going to make a big hat for mine and my daughter's door and my daughter-in-law. Now, I kept looking at those because those really weren't doing what I wanted to. So, I found me some daisies, some little daisies. And daisies are my very favorite flower. So, what I did is just uh, start filling it with some little daisies. And that actually worked out better. And as I said, my hot glue gun's all the way over there on the other side. So, it was a little bit cumbersome. I seen those... Um, little electric skillets they just dip them down in there and when they're done they just turn them off I was like well ain't that handy I guess I'm just afraid I'll forget to turn it off uh, I'm one of these people that leave the house and then I, I tell my husband oh I don't know if I unplugged the curling iron did I turn up did I unplug that waxer did I turn the coffee pot off I'm horrible so I literally have to walk through the house and say I turned this off. It's horrible. I know I drive him crazy sometimes, but he's a pretty good sport. He don't give me too much of a headache about it. He just does it every once in a while he rolls his eyes, but, you know, I don't blame him. Okay, so I'm putting on my um, daisies there just to kind of fill that up a little bit. just pop that right in there. I'm pretty sure Melissa, my daughter, will probably end up taking this because it's got lemons in it, I'd say. I probably won't get to sell that one. I'll probably be giving that to her, but that's okay. We don't care. We just do it for fun anyway. I say I'm going to sell them, but you know what happens? I always end up giving them to different people. That's just my nature. But that's my hat right there, my little straw lemon hat. I think I'm cutting some strings off of it, just finishing it up. That was easy peasy. Didn't take very long to do. It took me about 20 minutes, I think, to put it all together. And there's your end result. I want to thank you for watching my channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate that around here. And remember, you were born to do great things. And always take time to pray. It's important. We'll see you next time.